we are going to analyze this circuit, which is a series and parallel combo. Now, everything that applies to series applies to the series part. Everything about parallels applies to the parallel part. So, you got to pay attention to what's series and what's parallel. Um, we got to find total voltage, voltage of 10 uses, voltage of 20 uses, 60 uses, 50 uses, how much current's in the whole circuit, that means how much is the battery supplying, how much goes through the 10, how much goes through the 20, how much goes through the 60, how much goes through the 50, I read a 30 up there. Oh well. We'll change that to. Change that to a 50. All right, so all of the current has to go through the 10. So the total and the 10 are going to be the same. All the current has to go through the 50. No choices. Um, 20 and the 60, though, there's choices because it comes out of the 10, starts heading down here, and now has a choice. So those two are going to split, which means they're in parallel. All right. So, but because they're in parallel, they're going to have the same voltage. Okay. So knowing what what has some same and what's different and what adds up and what that matters. So the 10, the 50, and the total are going to be the same for current. The 20 and the 60 will be the same for voltage. Series parts, parallel parts. So best way to get started is just try to make this into one resistor. So we've got a 10 and we want to turn it into this. The 10, the 50, and the 20 and the 60 need to become that. What is the equivalent resistance of a 20 and a 60? Because the battery doesn't care how many resistors there are, it's just paying attention to there's a resistance. So again, parallel adds up inverse. So 60, 4 over 60. Again, it's adding up reciprocals. So you got to flip that. So 4 over 60 becomes 60 over 4. 60 over 4, which is 15. It just happened to work out nice. Okay, so now we have a 10, a 15, and a 50 in series. So those add up to 10 and 15 is 25, 25 and 50 is 75. So this becomes an equivalent circuit of 75 ohm resistor and a 40 volt battery. So we can find the total current going through the circuit because we have total resistance and total voltage. So V equals IR is our formula. Again, we know the voltage is 40. We know the resistance is 75. We can calculate the total current. 40 divided by 75. 0.533. Current equals 0.533. Total current. So this is 0.533. And again, we said the 10 has to get all of that, and so does the 50. 0.533. 0.533. And that's amps. Love when the board moves on me. All right. So now that we know that there's 0.533 amps going through the 10 and through the 50, we can calculate how much voltage is needed to do, to do that. So 0.533 amps times a 10 ohm resistor means it's going to use 5.33 volts. All right, so the 10 uses 5.33 volts. 
Total voltage is 40. All right. Um, now let's go for the 50 ohm resistor because we know it gets 0.533 amps. And how much voltage is needed to push that across a 50 ohm resistor? Well, obviously, it's five times more than the 10. Point five three three times fifty twenty six point sixty seven twenty six point sixty seven twenty six point sixty seven all right so this ten uses up five point three three of the volts. And this 50 uses up 26.67 of the volts. So all together, those two resistors use 32.03 of the volts. What was a 40 volt battery before? We've used up 32.03. How much voltage is left? Seven point nine seven, which means because I only have you know two more things there and they're in parallel and they have the same voltage, that these two have to both be getting seven point nine seven volts. Parallel means they get the same voltage. And there's only 7.97 volts left after the 10 and the 50. All right, we only got a couple things left to calculate. Current through the 20 and current through the 60. Well, you should know that the 20 is going to get three times as much as the 60 because it's three times as small. And our calculation should show that. So again, they're using 7.97 volts, and it's a 20 ohm resistor. So, we take 7.97 and divide it by 20. And that would be 0 0.3985. 0 0.3985. And then we do the same with the 60, which is going to be obviously three times smaller because we're going to replace this 20 with the 60. And we will come up with 7.97 divided by 60, 0 0.1323, 0 0.1323. If we add those two red ones together, we better get 0 0.533 plus 0.3985. Equals 5.313. There's going to be some rounding stuff in here. That's why you got to make sure you keep some decimals. All right, so we get coming out of the battery 0.533 amps. It gets to here and it splits up. And we get 0.13283. Through this loop, and we get 0.3985 through this loop. And then they come back together, combine again, and we've got our 0.533 here. So that's a series parallel combo.